Welcome back to the Iron Man Progress video series. We have just been mining Amethyst for a while. I needed a break from PVM because uh, doing that whole Elite Diary really kind of burnt me out. It was a lot of work, so I needed some low octane activity while I recovered. But now I'm feeling like I'm ready to slowly start getting back into it. If I'm going to do PVM, I'm probably going to do either Slayer or Bando, so I'm going to try and get Get back to the hour of bandos a day go for the god sword shard and the tassets since we still need those upgrades so we'll see what we can get we've slowly been getting more and more unidentified minerals as time goes on too and we need 240 for the gloves that help you mine amethyst better faster i can't remember which one it is but we're only 36 away so we'll get that eventually that's pretty nice 30 to get in there instead of 35. I guess I accidentally went up to 31. Oh man, I didn't even realize I could use my blowpipes back to heal. That was dumb. I should have done that. But I got hit by a few things, I guess, and it brought my health down. Oh, now we're up to 32 kills. All right. Well, let's get some Bando's kills. See what we get. Oh, no way. Oh my god. This was like three kills. No way. <laughs> oh my god. That is Bando's complete in 231 KC. That is disgusting. Oh my, I cannot believe it. Oh, like what do we do? Like what do we do now? Like I, I, I would like the BGS. I really would. I just, I don't. Wow. I did not expect that. All my clips of me talking at like every boss whenever I'm doing the minions, it's always just me completely fucking up the flicking because I get so distracted by talking that it looks like I'm terrible at prayer flicking the minions. But I, I really am good, I promise. But yeah, I mean, we're we're done at Bandos. I can get a God Sword Shard 1 from anyone and I, I don't really like doing Bandos that much. So I'm happy to leave. Yeah, that we totally spoon this boss. My God. God, that was crazy. I, I'm having so much fun. This trip will never end. I just keep getting like supply drops, whether it's super restores or food, as you can see, like and kebabs and bones. Like I might just live here now. Well, that's the trip. 258. I think we did like 30 kills. Yeah, 30 kills exactly. Wild. So I would call that a success. I am happy to get out of here. The Bandos Tacits are a monster upgrade for us. Not only do they give strength bonus in the leg slot, but they give plus one prayer and a huge increase to range defense. Instead of like swapping back and forth between tabs, why don't I just go and uh, put the dragon plate legs on and then we'll show how much better the tacits are than our dragon plate legs. Oh yeah, I picked up steel darts because I think I'm going to make darts instead of knives for aggroing slayer monsters just because it's like double. You get 10 darts instead of five knives and you get some fletching XP as well. So if we hover over this tool tip here, range plus 28 and then stab and crush is plus three defense okay so i had it backwards i guess the bcp is definitely a way bigger upgrade over the fighter torso than the tacits are over the dragon plate legs but it's still nice to get the plus 28 range defense i mean we got a solid melee setup now damn that's kind of disappointing i thought it was much bigger than that but that's totally fine so let's put on our new melee gear oh yeah we look like a friggin tank with the red slayer helm the full bandos this looks really good i am very happy let's check out these stats yeah look at these defensive bonuses stuff like vorkath and serb that hit you with the melees and the ranged this is gonna make it a lot better when we go and fight those bosses because the ranged attacks really honestly were what got me before so we are set man we're looking good so obviously it's a very long time until we hit the masters if we ever hit them i mean i have no idea but there's no reason that we can't continue to work on them so vorkath master kill 100 times is probably what i'll do here unless i'm really enjoying vorkath we are at 64 out of the 100 dodging the dragon 
I'll try this one. We'll see how it goes. I probably should have put the Blood Fury on or something. Although now that I need the Salve Amulet. Speed Chaser I can't do without a Bandos weapon. And then 10 times, maybe. Remnant Way, I'm going to wait till I have much better gear. We'll uh, we'll see how this goes. I'll look into whether it's worth using like a Slayer Helm and a Blood Fury instead of the Salve. But who knows? This is the only thing I get from this place. Friggin' Vorkath heads. Every time. I'm gonna have a ridiculous amount. Oh, 44 Manta Rays. That's awesome. We got up to 76 kill count, and we're only getting three kill trips, and it's kind of slow. And honestly, I'm kind of burnt out from, like, boss slayer and going for combat achievements right now. And I feel like we could do this better when we have a Dragon Hunter Lance or a Dragon Hunter Crossbow. So I'm just gonna switch over to AFK Slayer, do the uh, Blue Dragons and Taverly. I think that's a little bit more my speed right now. Our ultimate goal... Probably 95 Slayer for Hydra, so we can get the Claw, so we can get the Lance, and then we can just, like, do raids after that. 93 along the way, obviously. Yeah, I mean, there's a few other things I want to do, like I'd like to get 90 wood cutting and finish the Krend Elite Diary before we get 95 Slayer, which obviously we'll be able to do that. We're going to have to do more Guardians of the Rift or even just rune crafting in general because we're running low of a lot of runes. I mean, we're down to 12k blood runes, less than 16,000 steam runes. We'll have to make more of those. Got to make more astrals for AFK plank making. And we got to do agility. Getting to like 90 agility is going to be super annoying because I really don't like the relic, of course. But these are all things that we can do. But right now, I'm still kind of feeling the AFK Slayer. That's what we're going to do. This is a task we haven't had in a while. Basilisks. The last time we had this, I didn't even have a fang. And apparently, these are way better to kill with a fang as opposed to safe spotting. So yeah, let's go gear up for this. And see how it is all right here's the new setup we got the bandos the slayer helm it's crazy that this is like with the exception of maybe ferocious gloves and the prims this is basically our best in slot melee setup until like torva which is wild but we've got the fang the v shield the torture we're going to take the super combat protect from magic i guess just tank the melee hits and yeah apparently it's much faster than the rune crossbow range method basilisk sentinels are just so cool i love the way they look hopefully this one will give me a drop because i said that but even if it doesn't i still think they look cool he did not there is the dark bow which i did not expect this is a one out of five twelve drop and i think it's really only useful for that vorkath combat achievement that we already did this is something i have not seen in a while grotesque guardian task i mean the fight is fun but there's not really a point to doing grotesque guardians they don't really drop anything i mean i guess the tourmaline core maybe would be cool to upgrade the guardian boots but there's not really a reason to do these other than the really cool pet so maybe i'll just do 20 wait a second why is it 55 i thought we could get like 70 okay well i'm gonna choose 20 and now i'm gonna go into here like a boss increased by 15 like about oh, okay yeah i had that way wrong so it's 55 all right but whatever we'll do 20 grotesque guardian kills it's been a long time since i've done these definitely gonna have to refresh my memory this is gonna be the end of our grotesque guardian task i love doing stuff in the full bandos we are so tanky it's so much fun this boss is a good time i like it but i feel like i'm just missing a bit of gear to make it like a slight bit faster and that would be a little bit more enjoyable also there's just no reason to do it like there isn't anything really that it drops that's good so you're kind of here and you're using supplies and you're like what am i doing here like what what is the point of this but we got up to 78 kc i could definitely get the 20 kills in an instance combat achievement task if i wanted it where is it i think it's a yeah master one i could definitely do that i would just bring a lot of prayer potions bring my blood fury it shouldn't be too hard but i'm a little combat achievemented out i guess from getting the elites and master is so far away that it's almost like I, i'm not really gonna try and go for this i figure if i can get like three-fourths of the way there from just playing the game maybe then i'll go back in and and try and get more but I, i'm not really gonna focus on it right now this is interesting a jad task 
and I believe I have two things I can get done here. I can complete the fight caves with only melee, and I believe if I complete it, this will be my fifth time doing it. Yeah, okay. I could also try going for the speed chaser one, but I don't think I'll get that. This could be interesting. I've never done a fight caves with melee, so I have no idea about the timing or anything, but I have the elite diary, so I get one free resurrection. So that should help me out, I guess. Okay, this is gonna be my setup. I've got the fang full melee. I got the crystal halberd in case this becomes like too difficult and I just want to stand one tile away. I think we we should be good to go with this. I've got decent defensive gear and I know the fight caves pretty well. So let's do this. Oh man, I realize I should have brought a blood fury for like passive healing. That would have been really easy to do this. Oh well, let's hope that uh, I make it. So this is a situation in which the halberd comes into play. I still have two full of an inventory, but I could sit right here and he's safe spotted. Similar to how I do it with the range method. This way I don't have to worry about, you know, running back and forth. And then you just pick up your potion and you're good to go. You know what's crazy? This halberd is supposedly two-handed, but look at what I'm doing right now. This is a one-handed attack. Why can't I use the defender? This is ridiculous. This game is fully broken. I'm clearly using one hand. This thing smacked me for like a 41 when I got off tick trying to hit it with my bang and defender. So I'm just going to chill here, do like a super long fire cape and uh, yeah, just not risk it. I think I've got the uh, supplies to last as long as I need to. We have made it this far, which means we're probably going to get it. We haven't died. So that's nice as well. Not that it like I think means anything, but yeah, here we go. Let's do Jad. Oh God. Oh, wow. Okay. I shouldn't talk during this. Whoa. Oh, my God. Oh, I think I get the revive. Holy crap. I was not expecting that. Wow. That was a rough fight, Caves. All right. At least I got both of the uh, the tasks. Hooey. That was, that was certainly something. Wow. Good thing we had that revive. That took... 20 minutes longer than normal. Do I have an extra fire cape? Should I gamble this? I didn't get it. Oh, well. I really don't need the fire cape for the master stash because I can usually just grab it, do the step, and then put it back in the bank. So that's fine. Those were our first steps towards master combat tasks. And other than this losing any prayer points one, which I'm not even going to try that one. I feel like a lot of the bosses that I have left, all the stuff there is basically just speed chaser ones, which... I just need better gear for. Just had another Lizardman task. This one was uh, for 340 in the mulch area, and I figured I would check how many shamans we've killed. So almost 2,000. So two-fifths of the way to the drop rate. So we got a Abbey Demon task, 163, and I'll probably use this opportunity to go back to Sire for a bit, see if we can get that final unsired for the bludgeon. But... I'm going to AFK for a while, and I feel like a really good AFK would be Vyres. We can get more Blood Furies, and it's like a solid 10 minutes. I was thinking about doing woodcutting, but you have to click so much with the like two minute timers on all the trees. So I think I'll stick with Vyres. All right, well, I've killed like a hundred Vyres and didn't get a single hard clue. So now I'm kind of worried that I have one in my bank, but I think I'm going to go do some Sire anyway. I haven't done Sire since I got my Bandos upgrade, so this used to be Fighter Torso and Dragon Plate Leg, so I'm, I'm pretty excited to do it with that. And also, I switched out my runes. I had runes for Shadow Barrage, but I think I can just do Shadow Rush, and it's way cheaper than this. I don't think it makes a difference, but that would be a nice way to save some runes. Okay, let's check... Oh, that didn't work. Maybe I have to use burst. Yeah, okay. So it's burst. I have to use shadow burst instead of shadow rush, but that still uh that still helps. It's still cheaper than the other one. I don't understand what's happening. I keep casting shadow burst on him and he's like attacking me or something. Like what is I don't understand. This is not working at all. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going back to shadow barrage. I never had any issues with it. Forget this. That was ridiculous. Well, that was fast. There's an unsired. And if all goes well, we could be done with our bludgeon. <laughs> that would be pretty crazy. All right, moment of truth. Here we go. 
Oh, Bissell Dagger. Oh, no. I mean, that's kind of cool, but like, what the hell? <laughs> I think this thing's like totally useless for me. All right. Well, we had a 20% chance of getting this dagger, and it's better than the Staff of the Dead. It's a good strength training weapon, but we don't really need it. We can get an upgrade from Bounty Hunter, I guess, but it can only be used for PKing, so we'll never do that. So I guess it has the same special attack as the Dragon Dagger, but it's more accurate, so it's better against higher defense monsters. I don't know. Th this thing is basically useless, is essentially what they're getting at. I went back to Vyres, but for some reason this popped into my head. Realized that we are getting low on some of these forestry items. I don't need the Trap Disarmor anymore because I have the Fox Whistle. I'm not going to be doing that event. Smoke Canister is kind of nice. I don't really like the Beyond the Stick one, but if I can make it easily, I'll do that one. I still need the Petal Circlet, and I definitely need the Padded Spoon for the Pheasant, because I don't have the Pheasant Eggs. I don't know if I showed this, but I went back and made way more Forester's Ration. Can't remember if I did or not. So let's make... Well, let's, let's check. What do I need for all this stuff? This is for the Leprechaun. I don't need that. Smoker Fuel, Maple Logs... Crystal Charm, Maple Logs, Egg Cushion, Maple Logs. Okay. Do I have Maple Logs is the question. Yes, I do. Let's take out all of them. Why not? Then we can just decide what we want in here. Smoker, Fuel. I'll get one of those. Crystal Charm. I'll get one of those. Egg Cushion. And I'll get two Crystal Charms just because I still need the Petal Garland and the Egg Cushion. I wonder if it's worth getting this. Clothes Blueprint so I don't have to wear the Forester's outfit. I don't really care. And this is Willow Logs, and I don't feel like getting that, so. Okay, let's see what we need to make all this stuff. All right, there is 20 petal circlets, 10 smoke canisters, 20 padded spoons, and now we are chilling. Yeah, we don't have the bee on the stick, but that's fine. Do I have Willow Logs? I might as well check. No, I only have 11. That's fine. We'll leave it that way. Okay, so we should be good to go back and do forestry stuff. I wonder if I should make this secateur's attachment. Maybe that would be good for getting like magic or you. I don't know. I've got tons of you leaves if I need to make more forester's rations. I think uh, we can chill out. Yeah, all this stuff is just ridiculous. So I actually decided to look it up instead of, you know, just assuming I knew what was going on. And it turns out every spell has a chance to hit and stun the sire 25, 50, 75, and 100% respectively. You can use the other ones, but it's easier to just use this because I guess if you don't stun him, he wakes up and starts attacking you, maybe. Not super clear on that part. Whatever, I'll use these runes, and uh, it'll be a good excuse for me to go back to Guardians of the Rift or do some Zaya rune crafting. I'm gonna add a Crystal Halberd to our setup as well. I've been specking with the fang but i feel like the crystal halberd will be super fun to like see those massive specs on p3 so i'm gonna put it in there and sacrifice one food i've been sat at virus for a while and i actually was so afk that i died so i am going to buy a bunch of draken's medallions because it's super annoying you can't get them from purdue you can only get them from like somewhere in dark mire but this is a shortcut to get there, so I'm going to run there right now and buy, I don't know, this would be like 24 of them or something like that, because they would be really good to have in case I die again. Where's the old man's house? Isn't it this? Here we go. I would like all of them. He didn't even make me buy them. Excellent. That should be fine if we die. I think I've come up with a use for the Abyssal Dagger. So currently in Wilderness Clues, I take a dragon dagger plus I use it for hard clues as well. But it, do I still have weapon poisons? Oh man, I don't have weapon poison plus plus. Okay, well, if I get another one, I think that using the abyssal dagger will be way better than the dragon dagger if I can get a weapon poison plus plus. Let me see if I can make it. Okay, yeah, I don't have the stuff to make it, but Calphite Queen does drop it. So does Seracnus. So maybe we'll get it in the future. But yeah. I'm going to use the Abyssal Dagger for our Wildy Clues now and our Hard Clues. And there's the use case for it. I made it work. So like we do with every Abyssal Sire task, 
I did a bit of sire and now I'm just gonna finish it off at the little baby ones. Got dagger. This log is actually looking really good. I mean, if we get the bludgeon, we're eight out of nine and I don't think I'll ever go back for the jar just because I don't care. But yeah, this log looks really good. Four unsired and 175 kills. That makes me terrified that we're gonna go really dry for the last unsired but i'll just you know keep doing my thing of a little bit of sire every time i get an abby demons task and then i'll just burst the rest of them and i've stopped using bracelets of slaughter on these tasks just because i really i don't enjoy bursting these they're super annoying we are three abby demon kills away from 93 slayer which will get us the biggest upgrade for our magic slot that we will ever have. And there it is, 93 Slayer. We have done it. We can now get Smoke Devil tasks, which comes with a boss, the thermonuclear smoke devil, as well as basically like little dust devil guys that are smoke devils instead of dust devils. So big upgrade drops the occult necklace. We will get into that because it'll single-handedly improve our mage gear setup more than probably anything else. Oh my God, we got our third superior of the task and it happened on the final kill of the task. So I don't think this will count for Slayer XP, but we can definitely still get a drop from here. Oh, we did still get Slayer XP. I will take that. Like I said before, 93 is Smoke Devils. That Occult Necklace is going to be a huge upgrade for us. So I'm going to use some of my 3,500, what was it? 3,600 Slayer Points to skip around a bit and get one of those tasks. But I think I'll save that for the next episode. We also have a raids event coming up with the clan. I'm gonna be focused mainly on Chambers of Zarek, possibly a bit of Tob, but mostly Chambers of Zarek because there's a lot of upgrades there for us, namely the two prayers, Rigor and Augury, that I would really like to get, as well as I guess Preserve would be nice in some situations. So I think I'm gonna spend most of my time in Chambers for that event. So you have that to look forward to in the next episode, but without further ado, thanks for watching, have a good one, and I'll see you again next time.